I'm extremely optimistic relative to the opportunity that lies ahead of us in the form of Anthony Davis. Fortunately, because of the presence of people like LeBron James and Kyrie Irving and Kevin Love and leadership in that locker room from a veteran presence like James Jones and Channing Frye, Dante Jones, Kendrick Perkins, we have a very long, successful history together with Clutch Sports. Rich Paul and I have spoken about Anthony, and I think we are both excited about what we could potentially build here. I have plans to sit down with them both. But once again, like with Alvin, the only reason history matters is that you can have a very frank, very candid conversation. Rich Paul and I were part of succeeding in the manner that they can understand and they will understand when I say this. You are either all the way in or you are all the way out. And there is no in between. When the measure of success in your franchise is going to be championships and generational excellence, this is not something that we negotiate about. This is not something we make allowances for. This is something that you live every day of your life. And I have every reason to believe Anthony will want to do that. There's not going to be something where this is, yeah, I want to be here, but this, this is what we're doing, this is where we're going, and we very much want to achieve what we think you want to achieve. And hopefully he's as like-minded as, as the front office and ownership are. Have you had any conversations with Anthony Davis uh, recently? No, I've, I've spoken to Rich Ball, um, and uh, he's talked to Anthony for me. I know Anthony's been on vacation. Uh, we have scheduled a time that we're going to sit down face-to-face and I'll be able to give some more meaning to that conversation once that happens. But um, I have communicated with Drew Holiday. Um, I've communicated with all of the agents, basically, of all of our players. Um, and I, I'm pretty confident that people feel comfortable with the direction we're taking today. But as a practical... Was kind of here by all no. No. Um, quite the opposite, actually. Um, I think Rich is genuinely excited about this situation. Um, Rich, is, Rich represents the greatest player of his generation, and, and he saw uh, LeBron buy into what we were doing in our direction and the respect he had for what we did. And I think LeBron himself has been very supportive of us as well in terms of, listen, they, they know what they're doing. So I, I think he'll have plenty of the right voices in his ear. Just as a practical matter, is there a time frame in which you need to resolve the Davis situation, however that plays out? Not really. I mean, it's not, it's not a race. Um, you, I think you resolve the Davis situation when you look in each other's eyes and you know where each other lives. It resolves itself at that point. And then it's just a matter of going about the minutia of how you make the deal. Um, which is, I think, one of the more overrated things from a fan perspective out there. Um, these things, again, in terms of the negotiation process, it's my goal that you won't hear much of anything that's going on with us. I think the worst thing you can possibly do is be very noisy in these things. We're going to hope to be very silent. And uh, if, if there's something that needs to happen beyond showing up at training camp and winning together, I hope we act upon it, and you never really know one way or the other what was going on. Rich Paul and Andy Davis is close to the best as possible, but Rich Paul's the one that leaked to Woj that he wanted to be traded. So well, you, have... we think he, you think he did, right? So, I mean, we don't know that. We okay. really don't know that. But anyway, continue. Sorry. No, no. Uh, <laughs> if, there, if there's a conflict, you don't think he's the one that leaked No, 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 I, I don't. So for me, it, let's say he did, right? Okay, fine. And it's a, uh, let's say it's a, a statement of fact that they leaked the story. I don't care because this is going to take place between two people and three people sitting in one room, people who have history together in one case and someone who I think is all about winning in another case. And we're going to have an adult conversation. It's not going to be, com this is complicated. It's not rocket surgery, right? This is, do you love where you are and winning here and do you want to be part of what we want to build? And if you don't, okay, help me help you. This is what that looks like. It's, it's not abundantly complicated. And, and frankly, he needs to hear what it means to be part of this too. 
he could hear what we believe it means to be part of this and say, yeah, thanks, I appreciate it, I'm not doing that. And that's his right to do. And it's every player's right to do. So if we're really good at this, we'll build something that everybody wants to be part of.